Hi guys, my name is Rosina. You may know me because my fiance and I own the Batchy Brew Coffee Truck. Um, I'm a mom of twins and I thought I would start a fitness journey. So let's just start from the beginning. So I was a gym junkie probably about four years ago. I did have kids at the time, I was not engaged. I was not settled down. I was working five, six days a week and I went to the gym four, five, six days a week, probably depending on how much energy I had, but I was really into building a booty and just getting fit and things started going downhill <laughs> with my fitness journey when I started dating Ryan. It's not Ryan's fault. It was more, I just really lacked motivation when I started settling down with Ryan. So Ryan and I started dating in 2017. And so 2016 was like the peak of my fitness journey. And I was really proud of my body. I had a great looking butt. I fit into any clothes I tried on. And it was just such a glorious time in my life. And now things have drastically changed. Being a mother of twins, we own a business. I just don't have all the energy in the world, but we were sick for the past week and it, it really kicked my butt. And I really was like, wow, I physically couldn't move from the couch. Like that's how sick I was. And it really made me realize that I need to get my ass back in shape and I need to make better life choices as far as eating and how I use my time wisely is what I'm trying to say. And so as of right now, my routine for my day is we wake up around 4 a.m. and we shower, get ready for the day and make sure the house is good to go for my sister so she can watch the twins. And then we get to our destination for our coffee truck around 5, 5, 15, 5, 30, depending on how late we're running. And then we're open at 6 and then we're on the truck until, well, we close at 1, but we are, we're finished for the day at 2. And then I have this huge time gap to get things done, whether it's, you know, cook dinner, do dishes, run errands, go to the grocery store, etc. And... I'm just realizing I have so much time in my day to work out. Literally, if I can just put half an hour aside of my day to work out, I think we'll be okay. So I downloaded Z-Body Fit, I think it's called. I'm recording on my phone, so I can't really show you the app right now. But I've done Z-Body before. That was one of the few workout programs that I completed when I was in like the peak of my fitness journey four years ago and I had the whole workout plan printed out and ready to go and it really it really worked I really had a nice butt and a body going for me so like I said as a mom of twins and a business owner I'm trying to find more time to work out so she came out with an app. Zoe Rodriguez is who the fitness person is. And she has certain plans curated depending on if you want to work out at home, if you want to work out at the gym. She has it all figured out. So I'm super excited to try the app out. As of right now, I'm just going to show you everything. I've been wearing a lot of XL sweatshirts because it is that time of year. It's winter where I am physique wise right now so as you can see I don't really I don't know how much I weigh I probably weigh about almost 170 probably it's probably the heaviest I've been in my life but clearly I would like to work on my midsection my arms could obviously be defined booty I don't know if you can see it but I mean I've this is definitely the biggest my booty has been. Just, you know, being a mom and having all this baby fat. 
but I just need to tone it up. Tone. So we're going to see how this transform in a month. So I also forgot to include that I ordered new fitness workout bands. For whatever reason, I was cleaning my room one day and I just threw out a bunch of bags and boxes. And it turns out that I think I threw away my workout bands. So I ordered some new ones. They're from Suzy B Fitness and I'm so excited to get them in the mail. I just ordered them. So they should probably be here in a week and a half, but I'll work out without them. It's fine. It's all about the muscle activation anyways before we get into the workout bands, but they're super cute and they're like a tie-dye marble black and white kind of deal. So I'm super excited to use those, but we'll just stick with the basics and just do the first workout. Today's legs and just lower body. So let's get started. We are at our local grocery store. We're getting milk for the coffee truck. Oat milk at the store. And then we have to go to another store to get our regular milk. Getting some snacks and some food. We got up super early this morning. I got my workout in. Feeling good. Today we will try to be as productive as possible. It's huge grocery haul. We went to three different stores. This doesn't include the milk that we bought for the truck, but we had to buy a couple gallons of whole milk, skim milk, oat milk, almond milk, half and half, all that good stuff. But anyways, I'm gonna show you what we bought today. One of my fitness goals for the month is to cut on processed sugar. So I think I did pretty good. Anything sugary is probably for the twins or Ryan as a treat or whatever. So we'll start with the meat, I guess. Uh, we have a huge chest freezer in our basement. So we always get bulk ground beef. And today I got ground turkey. It's been a while since I've had ground turkey, but I'm gonna make ground turkey chili. I'm gonna make salmon in the oven. We got burgers, porterhouse steak. We got some mango, cilantro, and lime chicken from our local grocery store. So I'll, I'll probably either throw it in the crock pot or I'll throw it in the air fryer depending on my mood. Face mask for work. We got sweet onions, garlic. We got sauces for like chicken and marinades for stir fry or some crock pot meal. Um, I got diced tomatoes, beans, salsa. I'm going to make some turkey chili. That's where that ground turkey comes in because I saw Whitney Simmons make it. So I'm going to make it. Um, chicken broth. We got good thins, gluten-free crackers. We try to eat gluten-free in this house because Ryan is gluten-free. So I just try to support it as much as possible. Um, gluten-free granola. Turkey sausage, pork sausage. Need to be better about making my own breakfast instead of getting McDonald's for breakfast. Baby carrots, Brussels sprouts, uh, zucchini, hummus, sour cream, chicken breasts, mini cucumbers, stuffed mushrooms, um, ranch, cauliflower. Again, I'm cutting sugar, processed sugar, so bubbly. Um, it's basically like flavored seltzer water, I guess. Um, cheese curds for Ryan peppers, green onions, cilantro, strawberries. Um, we got pistachios for Ryan. <laughs> Tofu is stepping on the Tostitos. Tofu! She's just being curious. I'll just leave her. Um, hot dog rolls, gluten-free, gluten-free um, baguettes. I make awesome gluten-free garlic bread. Um, cheddar cheese biscuit mix, gluten-free. 
chips, snacks. This is all Ryan. Uh, French toast and waffles for the twins. That's Ryan's birch beer and root beer. Gross. Um, obviously, I have to have tater tots, chicken fries. Hi, Luna. Avocados, bacon, turkey breasts for like a snack sandwich thing. Did I say strawberries? But yeah, that's basically it, guys. Huge grocery haul. So I gotta go in and get this meat in the fridge and then get it in the freezer and separate it. Oh yeah, and Ryan bought all the cauliflower crust pizza because it's gluten-free from all these. So it was on sale. So yeah, I don't know, we spent about $400 today. That doesn't include, that does include the milk that we bought. So yeah, super excited to put all this away. <laughs> okay, so for lunch, I am going to make salmon in the oven. I'm gonna season it. I'm going to do some rice, white rice on the side. I don't feel like cooking Brussels sprouts. I don't feel like cutting anything. I'm gonna do turkey chili. So yeah, so thanks for coming along and watching my fitness journey, guys. I'm super excited to see where I go in a month. So the workout is five times a week. I have two rest days. Um, I'm eating intuitively, which I don't think I went over before, but basically I'm just eating healthy. I'm not cutting anything besides like refined sugars. Um, I'm going to have my one coffee in the morning and usually I don't, I haven't been in the mood for lattes recently, so I'll usually do an Americano or a cold brew with like a little bit of cream or a little bit of flavor. So I'm not going overboard with like the sugar. I'm just trying to make my goals realistic because if I make them, if I make them too extravagant, then I'm not going to hit them. I just, because I'm going to be too overwhelmed. So yeah, eating intuitively, I'm just going to eat healthy, um, healthy carbs, healthy fats, proteins. And I've always eaten that way. I just have been indulging a lot recently because I just had no restrictions. Did arms this morning, like I said rest day is tomorrow and we're back to work tomorrow so I am super excited and I feel good I feel really good I'm like super sore for just not even using like real equipment just because I'm getting my body working and everything so all right so I have the turkey chili going it smells and tastes amazing I have about a little over a pound of ground turkey in there seasoned it salt pepper garlic paprika Mexican chili powder, I sauteed onions and peppers, and then I used the fire roasted canned tomatoes from Aldi's. I have some tomato paste in there, I have some pinto beans in there, and half a jar of this salsa that caught my eye. So I'll let that sit for a little while, let it, you know, get all flavorful and yummy. Perfect for a snow day day off. And then I have a parmesan crusted salmon I made in the oven. Salt, pepper, garlic, tons of garlic powder, um, grated parmesan, olive oil, put that in for 350 for about half an hour. And yeah, super excited for lunch and probably dinner. So so that's it for today, guys, and I will see you in the next one.